a bit in that lift. I can see them already. If you want to come down here, camera woman, and hopefully we'll be able to zoom in. I've washed all that mud off. Can you zoom in on the mud? If you see, there's absolutely hundreds of fair, fair de faza in there. There's loads. I'm going to drop it now, so perhaps. Look, and they all just float onto the surface. Yeah, new six. Yeah? Yeah. Now this isn't too many, but you know, sometimes more, sometimes others. I've got to be truthful. I was here the other week, or the other day, sorry. So perhaps I've sort of, yeah, taken a few too many. But I mean, now we scoop them off. If you look in the mud, they're still in there. They're, there's loads, there's hundreds in here. They're just all, you know? And, and then let it fall slowly and they all just come up to the surface again. Can you see? Look, there must be 30, 40 here. All just floating on the surface. Amazing. Look at that. Look at that. There are hundreds in here. In one scoop. Not even completely. I mean, I haven't gone through the, the residue or the, the what's left over. I'm sure there's some caught in there. But And again, look at that. Hundreds and hundreds of them. There's another 20, 30. So I've got what in, in one scoop. I'll have to look at the camera in a minute, see how long we've been rolling. But I I presume two minutes, yeah, three, two minutes. Two minutes, three minutes. And uh, we've got more than a hundred. Now look at that. Hundred again, uh, over exaggeration. That's a fisherman's right, isn't it? But anyway, um, so that was like definitely a hundred, a hundred hookers in in one scoop. So we're looking at a hundred in three minutes, a hundred in four minutes, and I'm taking my time, obviously, showing showing you what I'm doing. I don't know if you can see they're still they're stuck in the mesh. I mean, it's just that's just just that's just loads. Amazing, really. And uh, what I haven't shown you today, but quite often I catch fish from often, I don't know, mud, cr uh, mud crawlers, they're called, M modder crabbers in Dutch, mud crawlers, um, of quite a few sticklebacks, but I tell you what, I do catch quite a few of, and that's tench, not the big sort, but definitely the, the smaller ones. And another place that, I've, um, that I, I collect my fare, I, I catch regularly small pike, well, obviously I put them back, but yeah, it's quite a good sign, isn't it? I mean, if I'm catching small pike in a net like that, that, that says that the, the quality of the water and the health of the water, the, the, the you know, the, everything must be right. Otherwise the, otherwise the female and male fish wouldn't settle there to, to lay their eggs, you know? So it basically shows a good, healthy biotope, I should think. Now, anyway, I'm just gonna chuck this one back and we'll empty it. There's more. I could, you know, put that on the bank or put it in a bucket and take it with me uh, and at my leisure let it go through a sieve at home, a pinky sieve, or pick it out by hand. I know plenty of people that pick it out by hand. I myself also pick it out by hand. But as there's so many today, I'll sift it out. Hey, this is not a heavy item, is it? I mean, look at it. No, here's me, skinny old Andy, just ramming it around and, I don't know, what's that? I don't know. Anyway, not too heavy. Perhaps you'd like to take a look inside my net. Or I should put them on my hand and you can see. That's one one scoop. Three minutes. Three minutes work like that. I mean, would you feed those though? I don't know. I mean I've often thought about it. Perhaps my next match I will. Because you can collect an awful lot and just, just feed the bigger ones. Obviously not as many because you, you wouldn't want the you wouldn't want the fish to get full and perhaps depending on your the size of your target fish. I could imagine that these would be 
are useful to catch bream an awful lot, you know, just just three, four, maybe some, sometimes even five or six on the on the hook. But perhaps if I fed them, I don't know. I'm gonna give it a try anyway. Next film I can see. See the difference here, isn't it? Twenty of the little red men, all hookable size, and bring it up and wash it out. Sometimes I like to tease it out with my hand, you know, to let them so they'll sink, and then let it sink slowly, and hopefully, yeah, they, they just float up to the top. Yeah, yeah, boom, boom, boom. I suppose it's like it's like sinking a boat, really, and then all of its contents come floating up to the surface, except for in this case we're sinking a bit of weed and not the smoking variety. Aquatic plants. Now I can't see how scraping with a blade through this mud is going to help you at all because they're just not in one area, they're in different, they get stuck in all the weed. I, I think that's going to be, I think we're done with this one. any though really in comparison to the last one perhaps I'm scooped on the same place again that's take too long I'm going to tip that out and I'll go I've applied no pressure I've just let it hit the bottom and drag it back and it scraped itself up if you make one of these yourself and you find that you're not scraping enough, you can always add a weight to the front. I myself had a weight on there. You can see me on my, on my Facebook page. There are pictures there of this, what's that, metal net instrument with a weight. But unfortunately for me, it was too heavy. It dug into the, the uh, uh, mud too much and it gave me a bad back. So I took it off and without the weight, it works fine. But I mean, obviously, if you're making it from aluminium, you might find that you need, you, you might find a little bit of, uh, weight would aid you your scraping it along the bottom or you'd have to apply pressure of course from from um, from the handle which yeah, I think I don't know I think that'd be harder it'd be much easier to apply weight or just a piece of steel or anything you know so let's see yeah hundreds yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love it. I really do. It's like, I can imagine what those guys in California was like, you know, when they was panning for gold. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yes, look at that. 10, 20, 20, yeah, 21 then. 30, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, still quite a few in there. Oh, slowing down. We've only got, what, five, six, ten. Yeah, still another ten. They're still in there, man. Scooping them out. If you scoop them off with a little net, you know, eventually you, you leave a lot of the debris back here, so it makes cleaning at home a lot easier. And today, they're reasonable size. Sometimes they're bigger, sometimes they're smaller, and that depends on you know on their on their uh, living cyclists. Me personally, I write down the size where I got them, uh, in what months, and I haven't been doing it too long, not not even a year yet. But I mean, over the years, you'll build up a, a picture, and you'll you'll know basically in which month you should be at one particular part of the water, what size you can expect, and and all of that. You know, like some waters at the moment, I where I've had from let's say September up until February, 
reasonable amounts of uh, bloodworm, uh, absolutely void now. They've got absolutely none there, and I've, you know, quite scary really. And always come to this place, and it's a secret. Yeah, it's still in there. It, really? Yeah, it's still in there though. Let's chuck it, it's too much, it's not like hard work. Yeah. Deeper net. Much uh, yeah, it's much better to fish to yeah to scrape with a deeper a deeper net. Something like this is what 35 centimetres. Because well basically if you make this this sort of motion and if it was short a lot of the, the fair, a lot of the blood worm would just spill over the top. And also what happened is, I, with my first one, the water came back and hit me in the face or I got covered in it myself. So now, about 35 centimetres, when you give it a good shake, the water, yeah, it, the, the, it just doesn't come over the top as much and not as aggressive. You stay a lot cleaner, perhaps, you know, might keep the wife happy, you know. you as well look you can see now I'm stuck in the mud and it is so that I actually know this place so you know I've been here before and I obviously know how deep it is generally I know what the mud's like and, 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 so, so, and I have been to places one place I can remember I poked it with a stick first I was alone and you know it didn't seem very deep but I can tell you I stood on it and I went straight down to my knees and to be quite honest, silly me, this is what, the, what I'm going to try and say is perhaps go, don't go alone, go with somebody else because I was very lucky that there was a tree nearby and I, I grabbed a tree and I was able to pull myself out but I mean it, it could have been, yeah, there could have been no bankside vegetation at all and I was stuck, you know, and yeah, <laughs> what are you going to do? Phone up the, the, the police, the, the fire brigade or perhaps a loved one to come and pull you out? Yeah, you might not be so lucky, you might sink right up to your neck and, and you know, not be able to get your telephone. So, who knows, you know, be careful, perhaps go with somebody else until you know where you are, you know. Take a, take a zoom in on this now. Look. Just say that that's one. I know, what's that? Uh, two scoops? Yeah, two scoops there. There's enough there for easily, easy a session. Five hours, two sessions I could imagine, should imagine if you look after it. And what have we done? Maybe five minutes I should think, six minutes. <laughs> 